We have here a swimming pool. Nice and big. Imagine this is water. And you have a density of water and they ask us to find the difference in pressure between X and Y. So X is down here, very deep. Lots of water pressing on top. Y, not so much water pressing on top. Okay, so you have a column of water pressing at that spot. And don't forget atmospheric pressure also pressing down, all pressing down. But the nice thing is we are finding difference in pressure. So instead of just saying um, P equals to rho G H at any point, we can just say, oh, actually, delta P equals to delta rho G H. What's the difference between these two? We just want to find um, between X and Y, right? So why is there a pressure difference? At X, it's a high pressure. At Y, it's a lower pressure because not so much water pressing down on you. So we can say, okay, so the difference is difference in height. So let's find the difference in height. This little height here. So this height, delta H, will be 2.35 minus 2. That's this given length here all the way down to the bottom. Minus the shallower height here. Okay, so this one is a difference of 0 0.35. So in the end, when you want to find the delta P, we're going to use our rho GH, but rho G delta H. So the density is 1000. G is 9.81. Change in height is 0 0.35. And with that, we should get 3433.5 Pascal. Which we can round off and write to 3.4 in standard form like, if you want to. We want to see what matches the answer. So 3.4 times 10 to the 3 Pascals. Looks okay. Hmm. Okay, so that will be Kilo Pascal. And the best choice you can choose here would be B. So remember... That no matter the shape of the pool, whether it's like a, a swimming pool square, whether it's a narrow pool, the pressure, such as this one here, P gauge, is what will be measured by this person swimming in the pool if you're carrying a pressure gauge, will be the same. See the P gauge will change or not? You look at this number, no right. Okay, only when you go deeper in, oh, you see this gauge will start to increase. Zzz, whoa, more and more pressure pressing down on you. So if you go from, let's say, the bottom of the pool to somewhere higher up, there will be a change in pressure. And also a reminder that this we don't some we don't always include absolute pressure, which is including the atmosphere. If I say who's pressing down on this uh, diver, yes, the water on top is pressing down on him or her. But if you want to include atmospheric pressure, you must consider that the air is also pressing down on this person. So check your question very carefully uh, whether they want to include air or not. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.